So the CPU... Uh, so the CPU wars are heating up intensively. One minute, got four cores as a mainstay. All of a sudden, Ryzen comes out. Hey, you can have eight cores. And then all of a sudden, Intel comes out and goes, Hey, you can have 18 fucking cores if you pay us, faggot. And everybody's like, Thank you, Intel. Please piss in my mouth and tell me it's lemonade. Hell, I'd be in line too if they gave me free stuff. I'd be like, Intel's the greatest company ever. I'd be Goebbels, dude. I'm telling you. The first company starts paying me off, I'd sell out. I'd sell so far out. I'd Metallica my life. Okay, I need to stop and get real. Anyway, AMD's Ryzen Threadripper. Entry level. How's this entry level? It's 16 cores. How's that entry level? Whatever. The 16 core 32 thread processor. Supposedly, the new rumor is it's only going to cost $849. Mind blowing. Like serious, if this is real, this already kicks Intel square in the fucking nuts. Oh, you, fuck you, Gundam. Intel's single core power is far superior to Ryzen, yada, yada. I know, I get that. But if you want that single core deliciousness popping off in your mouth, you just gotta pay them two fucking grand to get it. I mean, $849 versus $2,000 for two more cores from Intel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Intel 7982XE, or whatever it's called, because I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm 100% sure that it will probably crush the 16 core Ryzen. Maybe, or at least it'll outdo it, probably by 10% tops. Whatever, it'll still be faster, and frankly, whenever Intel's faster, everybody celebrates, jerks off, and unicorn shit fucking glitter and rainbows in the world. But you're still paying over $1,200 more if this is true. And frankly, I'd rather keep the $1,200 personally, unless money's not an issue for you. If money's not an object, by all means, get the very best you can. And with my congratulations, condolences, and my jealousy, sir. But for me, for being fucking poor, if I had the choice between something that worked almost as well for less than half the fucking price, you know where I'm going. I gotta save every penny I can. I'm broken Z, as they say in German. AMD is going to price their upcoming Ryzen thread zipper processors very competitively against Intel because they kind of don't have a fucking choice. Based on the counterparts, if rumor holds to be true, the latest rumor on the pricing comes from bit chips, who have been very accurate regarding their previous reports on Intel and AMD CPUs and the prices that are yet to be confirmed by even AMD themselves. The thread lipper, thread lipper, thread ripper, forgive me my tongue. The thread lipper, fucking you son of a bitch. I'd slap myself if I didn't think I'd bite my tongue again. Ryzen's Threadripper 16 core 32 thread chip very competitively priced against Intel's Core X CPUs. Remember, X means for extreme and extremely expensive. Last week, AMD announced their Threadripper CPUs with the X399 motherboard platform. The new high-end desktop platform is going to be aimed right at Intel's Core X series lineup, which is going to feature up to 18 cores and 36 threads or something like that, or 34 threads, I could be wrong. And the 16 cores, 34 threads. While Intel has released pricing of their processor earlier this week at Computix, AMD provided more details on the platform itself. AMD has also confirmed that the CPUs will be available summer 2017. Keep in mind that the Core X, Skylake, whatever's, they're coming next year. AMD's got the jump right now. Gundam! The new AMD CPUs are just two 1700s glued together. Yeah, all right, you know, so what? You still want to give Tal an extra $1,200? You go right ahead, I don't give a shit. I don't care what you do. The details provided about Ryzen's Threadripper are really juicy and something which will keep many enthusiasts willing to upgrade the X399 platform. AMD's Ryzen Threadripper lineup will feature up to 16 cores, 32 threads. How many times does this have to be reiterated? There's also 40 megabytes of cache on board these chips, 32 on the L3, eight on the L2. The Ryzen processor will allow for mammoth amounts of PCIe lanes, which amount to 64. There's 48 PCIe lanes entirely dedicated to the graphics cards, whereas to Intel's X299 will feature a total of 44 PCIe lanes, and less than that would be dedicated to graphics cards something to think about if you are really gearing this towards gaming but i don't understand why anyone would buy these and not do any production work i mean that's pretty much the whole sit bang to this so those who plan to use multi-gpu solutions should definitely 
show interest in the X399 platform. The platform also supports quad-channel memory among other processors. The platform also supports quad-channel memory among all the processors. The Intel lineup is split into Cabby Lake X and Skylake X parts. The Cabby Lake X quad-core chips make use of dual-channel, while the Skylake X uses up to 18 cores featuring quad-channel memory support. It is also mentioned that the AMD parts will feature very competitive TDPs against Intel's parts, which max out at 180 watts. But frankly, if you could afford either of these, with the motherboards, mind you, I'm a thousand percent sure you could afford a power supply that could feed this power hungry machine. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure you could afford your electricity to power these motherfuckers if you got the cash for this sort of computer. So, you know, it's like giving us the TDP really for anyone who's actually trying to like, oh, well, I really want a nice computer, but I gotta watch how much power draw it has because I'm poor. I can barely afford my electricity. Then I think this computer and its components would not even be on your radar due to the price alone. Now coming to the main rumor, Bits and Chips over at their main Twitter feed suggest that most entry-level Ryzen Threadripper chips with 16 cores and 32 threads would be priced at $849. This pricing is much lower than what Intel has priced with their own 16 core part, which will retail at $1,699 as double the fucking price. By entry level, it's suggested that AMD will have multiple 16 core parts shipping with different clock configurations and featuring XFR support. So we can expect higher prices for the faster clock variants, but having a 16 core chip under $1,000 is still pretty impressive considering that AMD has recently shown strong multi-threading performance against Intel's offerings in several general and core intensive benchmarks. It's also mentioned in another tweet that Ryzen's Threadripper CPUs are very cheap to produce as the cost of the 16 core and 32 thread chip is about 110 to 120 US. That cost is included for the dies, packaging, and testing. So AMD is making a big profit from them. Each Threadripper sold, which does bold well for AMD's current financial situation, which actually isn't that bad. AMD stocks have gone way up. I mean, before Ryzen came out, it was like $2 a share or less. And he's kind of getting everything right. Finally, it's also stated that the X399 motherboards, while impressive, will cost a lot of money. Not really surprised there. Look at the size of the fucking socket. It might be due to the monstrous TR4 socket and the beefy design schemes that we've looked at on several boards. Each Ryzen Threadripper CPU has also featured an X399 chip and each motherboard is outfitted with several IO capabilities that increase the cost of making such a high-end board. AMD's Ryzen Threadripper CPUs will be available in summer of this year. Oh yeah, and uh, don't even bother asking. Like, uh, can I use my previous CPU cooling solutions? Hell no. All of your CPU coolers, whether it's from Noctua to Corsair, are just obsolete. If you even, you can't, it's over. And I have actually seen the size of the Threadripper coolers themselves. They're fucking huge, dude. You need a big case for this shit. Well, if the rumors are true, this would be an extremely huge blow towards Intel, especially on the affordable side, once again, because not everybody can drop $1,600 on a CPU. In fact, $800 on a CPU is still excessive, in my personal opinion, but $800 versus $1,600 to $2,000 is a huge price gap. It's amazing really and for someone who possibly wants to get into more production based and uh 3d modeling and rendering ryzen is a phenomenal option whereas to before if there was no ryzen intel was the only game in town and suck it up buttercup was the name of the game well now there's an option and it doesn't matter whether you're an intel fan or you there's a lot of people who are intel biased or amd biased the point being that now there's competition as long as there's competition things can grow in the industry the market can change and evolve which it seems like it's just exploded in the course of six months you know like a year ago if you told me there'd be 18 core cpus from intel and amd coming out i would have told you well definitely from intel i would have told you you're fucking crazy oh well rate comment subscribe if you so choose i can actually give more of a crap than me if you don't want to i don't care if you do caress the like button twitch twitter the whole nine yards facebook remember the more of you have followed me the more likely companies are going to give me a shred of respect and they could do some real reviews on hardware and stuff 
but me giving an honest opinion wouldn't exactly sit well with them. Oh well, I'm out of here. Adios, pichachos.